Hello there and welcome back to my channel or if this is the first video of mine you are seeing then welcome. New brand, new palette today. I will be doing four looks as well of course some live swatches of the absolute gorgeous Inslee Rain Cold Moon Eyeshadow Palette. This palette, I mean look at these beautiful shades this just really gorgeous cool tone palette I mean just looking at this I mean I know the name of it is cold moon but it looks like such a beautiful wintry palette this is simply gorgeous and I just I cannot wait to try out their formula I've never tried this brand before I'm so excited to be doing it with this palette now they have launched some really beautiful palettes in the past but this one just spoke to me I knew I had to try it so if all of that sounds interesting let's go ahead and get started this palette is so stunning I just I, the artwork is gorgeous and then when you open the palette up you have the same beautiful artwork on the inside of the palette and then these beautiful gorgeous cool tone dream shadows so absolutely stunning now I'm not even going to entertain the fact that I know how to pronounce some of these shades but I will be popping up the shades on the screen as I'm swatching them because there are some of them that I don't know how to fully pronounce and I even looked up some of the pronunciations online and I some of them I couldn't really find so I'm just gonna do the best I can but I will pop up the names for you so just in case I mispronounce you know what the shade names are of course they are written on the palette but you know I just like to say the names out loud now so we have snowdrop winter rose Aurora Then we have Orithia or Orithia, Snow Fairies, and Garnet. Okay, then we have Forbidding. Uh, Ma Maja, Ma I'm not sure, and Saturnalia, I'm not sure exactly how to say these. We have Catmint, Keon, and transformation. Wolf Moon, Mother's Night, and Snow Crystal. Cold Moon, Borealis, Winter Solstice. Calacanceros, Rebirth, Storm Fairy. And there you have this entire palette swatched out. Such a 
gorgeous palette all these beautiful beautiful shifty shades oh my goodness so absolutely stunning and I will be including a clip right here showing you these shadows out in natural lighting I just step right out on my porch so you can just see them outside so I'm not just filming swatches under a ring light okay I will say that I am not even going to pretend that I know how to pronounce some of these names properly so Please bear, please, so please bear with me as I pronounce some of these names. I will pop the names up on the screen as I'm using each shade so you can see because I might be pronouncing some of them wrong. But I'm going to start with the shade Catmint. Catmint. I'm not sure how you say that, but I'm going to be taking that on a blending brush from e.l.f. I don't know how pigmented this brand's shades are, so I just picked up a small amount because I can always build it up if I need to. I'm not familiar with this brand's formula. And of course, by now, you have already seen the live swatches of the palette, but I have yet to swatch them yet while I'm filming. Or I've done little mini swatches on the back of my hand to kind of get a color scheme, but not like full-on swatches. It's a really pretty shade. It's real light. Of course, I only dipped in just a little bit, but I might have to build that up just a touch. And I'm going to press it. I'm really going to press that in, but it's really soft. And I will say with that shade, there was hardly no kick up in the pan. I think this brand, their palettes are so stunning. I've always wanted to try this brand out, but I just kept putting it off, putting it off. And then when they announced this palette back in maybe December, I believe, because I just got this in the mail yesterday. So I believe they announced it in December. I know it was launched that month, but I knew I had to have this one. This was going to be my first Inslee Rain palette because it's like a neutral palette, but it has a twist to it, of course, because it has these really beautiful shifty shades, and I just, I had to have it. I had to. I'm going to take that same brush and go in with the shade Garnet, and that shade I'm going to start stamping out here on this outer corner. I'm going to really press that in to my crease. Start blending. Okay, then I'm going to take the shade Aurora, and I don't know if I can show you the shift of that shade. It's really hard to pick it up on camera. I think you can see it a little bit more like that. Took a small amount on my finger, and I'm just going to place that that right here in the very center oh that is stunning okay this shade I don't Saturnalia Saturnalia I'm not sure how you say that shade but you can kind of see the shift when I do it like that these shades are so gorgeous and I am barely tapping my finger into them and look at that pigment that you get Gosh, that's stunning. Okay, I'm going to take the shade Winter Solstice on a blending brush from e.l.f. And that shade I'm going to place in my crease on this side. This might be one of those shades that I have to stamp in because it looks really soft. There we go. Yeah. Definitely have to build that shade up a little bit more because it's really light. Or I probably just didn't pick up enough, I should say. These shades are really easy to work with. I'm really impressed. On the same brush, I'm going to take the shade Cold Moon. And that shade I'm going to stamp right out here on this outer half. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty gray. Like an actual true blue tone gray. Okay, then I'm going to take the shade Keon. I'm not sure. Let me see the shift. So stunning. And I'm going to place that shade right here in the very center of my lid. Boy, these shades are gorgeous. 
and then I'm going to take the shade Snowdrop. I mean, so lovely. And that's going to go right here on this innermost corner. Oh my. Okay, so I'm just going to really quickly do the rest of my face, and I'll come back and do the lower lash line on both sides. Okay, I don't know how you say that name. Calacanzaros? I'm not sure, but this shade right here, I'm going to take that on a small angled brush from e.l.f. And that shade, I'm going to drag along my lower lash line on this side. I didn't spray my brush. I wanted to see how that shade did on its own. Okay, using that same brush, I'm going to take, I don't know if you say Orithia or Athea. I'm going to take that shade and place that on half of my lower lash line on this side, like this outer half. Then lastly, I'm going to take the shade Winter Rose on that same brush. And that shade I'm going to place on the beginning half of that lower lash line. And there are the first two eye looks all done. Okay, but that is the first two eye looks. I will be doing two more eye looks with this palette because I want to use every shade in the palette. But just right quick, what's on the rest of my face? Of course, for bronzer, I'm wearing my Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker bronzer in the shade In the Sun. This has just become like my favorite go-to every day. For my blush and highlighter, I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Blush and Glow Glide Palette. This was in the light medium shade. This was one of the little holiday palettes she come out with this past holiday season. For my lips, I'm wearing the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper in the shade Post Op Pink. And then over the top of that, I'm wearing the NYX Fat Oil in the shade Follow Back. Oh, and I forgot to mention that my lashes are from Ioni. These are the 3D Foamy Lashes from their Bon Voyage collection, which were the Wispy Natural Short Crisscross Doll. They just come in a packaging like that. And anything else that I'm wearing, I will have listed and linked for you below, but stay tuned for it looks number three and four. I'm going to start with the shade Transformation on a blending brush from e.l.f. I'm going to run that shade into my crease. Probably have to keep going back in and building it up because I'm picking up small amounts each time. Really stamp that shade in and then start blending it out. And then using that same brush, I'm going to take this shade right here. I, my, I don't know if that's Maya or Maja, I'm not sure, but I'm going to take that shade. Now this shade's more like my skin tone shade, so I'm just going to be using that shade to blend around the edges of transformation. Then using that same brush, I'm going in with the shade Mother's Night. Stamp that on this outer corner. There's not many matte shades left for me to try in this palette. Mostly what's left is shimmer shades, so I'll probably have to pull some of the mattes, maybe, that I used in the first two looks, too, just to kind of complete the looks. I'm trying to use every shade in this palette. Okay, then I'm going to take the shade Wolf Moon and place that shade right in the center of my lid. This brand's matte shades are good, but these shimmery, sparkly shades are just amazing. It's so beautiful. Then next I'm going to take the shade Snow Fairies. You can kind of see that shift. I do it like that. So absolutely gorgeous. And then that shade is going to go right in here. I didn't pick up a lot either, and you can still see that beautiful shift. I'm going to take the shade Rebirth on that same blending brush. 
and I'm going to start stamping that shade on this crease over here. And then blending that out too. I just, this look, looks like a little bit of a deeper shade, so I wanted to pick up just a small amount of it to put in my crease, but I might have to go back in. Okay, that shade's giving me trouble. You can see what it's doing, how it's... Like, it's not stay... I don't know if it was maybe me not setting my eyeshadow primer enough, because I haven't had any issues with a matte yet, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Cold Moon, and I'm going to press over that, see if I might can fix it. I might not can, but I'm going to try. Like, it's doing something weird, but I haven't had any issues with any of the mattes so far, so it could have been me not setting my eyeshadow primer enough or something. It could have been user error, because I haven't had any issues. So I might not can get the blend to be really good on this side, so we might just have to move on. But I'm going to try that shade in a second when I put it on my outer corner and we'll see how it performs there because it could have just been user error. But first I'm going to go back in with that rebirth shade using that same brush. Let's see how it does when I press it on the outer half of my lid. It might just be that shade. No, it seems to be acting fine in on the outer half of my lid so it must have just been me. Maybe I just didn't set my crease enough, so. I'm going to take the shade Snow Crystal. And that shade's going to go in the very center of my lid. Oh, that's so stunning. Next, I'm going to take the shade Borealis. And I'm going to put that on this innermost corner here. Pretty purple shade. Okay, I'm just going to do my lashes, do the rest of my face, and I'll come right back to do the lower lash line. I'm going to take the shade Forbidding on a small angled brush from e.l.f. and I will be spraying my brush with some setting spray. And that shade is going to go right here along this lower lash line on this side. That is a beautiful pink sparkly shade. Ooh, I definitely want to put that on the lid next time. Then I'm going to take the shade Storm Fairies using that same brush, and I'll spray my brush with some setting spray for this one, too. I don't know if I picked up enough on my brush or not. We'll find out here. Oh, yeah. Okay, and here are looks three and four all done. I'm wearing the same exact lashes that I wore yesterday. These are from Ioni. They're 3D Foam Ink lashes from their Bon Voyage collection. The Las Vegas ones, Wispy Natural Short Criss Cross Doll. And for my face products, I am just wearing this Hourglass palette. This was the Tiger palette from, well now, two years ago. Just wore, like, all of these just mixed and matched all over my face. Just to create this blushy, bronzy look all over the skin. Just did that. And then for my lips, I'm wearing the Too Faced. This is the Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper in the shade Post Op Pink. And then I'm wearing the NYX Fat Oil in the shade Follow Back. So that's all that I have on there. And I will list and link everything else that I didn't mention in the description box for you below. But let's talk about this Cold Moon Eyeshadow Palette. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Honestly, if you are looking at this palette and thinking about picking this one up, I really don't think you'll be disappointed in the quality at all. I did struggle with that one shade, but I think that was more so user error than the actual shade because when I put it on the outer half of my lid, I didn't have any issues with it there, so I think that was more so something that I did. But all the rest of the mattes, I didn't struggle at all. The shimmer shades are so beautiful, sparkly, shifty, just gorgeous eyeshadows. I mean, I just can't... I wish you could honestly see how sparkly these are. I don't think my camera could ever properly pick that up. But 
I'm, I'm impressed with this palette. I'm so happy that I got this palette and that I finally got a chance to try this brand. So definitely would recommend this palette for anyone who is interested in picking it up. It's, it's just such a beautiful palette. But I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I hope you will please consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribing if you haven't already. And please make sure to follow me over on Instagram at Jessica Dearly. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!